Listen, yes, there were a lot of bad tactics in World War I, but there was also extremely bad weapons, just like you put it. And among all of them, the French Shasha is perhaps one of the worst. Which sucks, because this was like one of the first proper light machine guns that was ever introduced, and it was actually one of my favorite weapons in Battlefield 1. But dear god, this thing just sucked in real life. Now there was a whole lot with this gun that is just bad right off the bat. It had a small pistol grip, which made it uncomfortable to hold. The foregrip was pretty much a knob, which you didn't get a good grip on at all. And the magazine that fed the weapon in the first place was open. Open. You know how a gun could jam or have some serious problems if things get into the magazine, like dirt and debris? And just imagine that you are in a World War I setting in the trenches with all of the mud. And do you, do, do you think there's a problem here, possibly? Just going off that design alone, that is terrible, but simultaneously the gun was made of such cheap materials that even the slightest bang on the magazine could completely deform it, which would cause it to fail anyway, even if it was clean. Why do you disappoint me so?